Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with the word for today. And the word for today is forsake. Do not forsake the Lord, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Forsake the Lord, and he will leave you. He will forsake you. Leaders that forsake the Lord cause trouble for the people. See the calamity and ruin that become that comes because of their wickedness, that comes because they have forsaken the Lord. Wickedness is serving something other than the one true God. Wickedness is forsaking the Lord. Prophets are sent early and often to warn us. We have been given his word. His word is truth. Listen to the Lord. Listen to his word and do not forsake him. Become contrite. Contrite means to feel or express remorse and to become penitent, which means to feel or express remorse. Funny. Fear him. Walk in his word that he set before us. Fear the Lord greatly. How long will you waver between two opinions? Great question. If the Lord is God, follow him and do not forsake him. It's the God that answers by fire. He is God, and God is going to answer by fire one of these days. Do not forsake him. They called on other gods, but no voice, no answer, no one paying attention. Other gods are nothing. The Lord, he is God, and there is no other. Do not forsake him. I, I find the, the uh, sacrifice of Elijah amazing. Fill four jars, and we read in the New Testament that a jar is 20 to 30 gallons. Fill four jars with water at the end of a three-year drought. No rain, no dew. Do it three times. Twelve jars of 20 to 30 gallons. What an amazing sacrifice. The sacrifice the Lord is looking for uh, uh, or from us is for us to live our lives for him. Let it be known that the Lord, he is God and there is no other. Do not forsake him. Live for Jesus. Be his servant. Do what he tells us to do. I love this prayer. Answer me, Lord, that all may know that you are God. I pray that he answers us, that all may know that the Lord, he is God. So then the fire fell, then the answer came, and the response from the people is, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. This is what we're looking for, is for God to respond to our requests so that the people will respond respond the lord he is god the lord he is god do not forsake him birth the answer in prayer go to the holy ground to get the victory to get the answer for the battleground and here is the answer jesus is the king do not forsake him jesus died the substitutionary sacrifice for our sins the lamb of god Jesus rose again so that we could live the new life in him. Do not forsake him. The word for today is forsake. God bless. Check in tomorrow.